Private Members Business Notice Number 4 for a motion relating to disability related health supports. Uh, the Member for Hughes has the call. I move the motion relating to disability related health supports in the terms in which it appears on the notice paper. I call the Member for Hughes. Uh, thank you, um, Madam Deputy Speaker. It's good to note that uh, we're in an, actually an energy saving mood here in the Federation Chamber today. It looks like we've got about 14 of our lights out. I hope that's uh, some uh, technical problem uh, and not a fact that we're trying to actually cut down on our uh, electricity bill. Anyhow, Madam Deputy Speaker, I will continue. Uh, I move that this House, number one, notes that the Council of Australian Governments, Disability Reform Council, met on the 28th of June 2019 <clears throat> and has resolved a number of long-standing issues, including the interaction of the National Disability Insurance Scheme with the health system. Two, we welcome the Council's agreement to a range of disability-related health supports that will be provided through the NDIS. And three, uh, 3A, we note, the NDIS will fund disability-related health supports where the supports are required as a result of the participant's disability and assist the participant to undertake activities of daily living. B, types of health supports that will be funded by the NDIS include continent supports, dysphagia, which is swallowing difficulties, and nutritional supports, respiratory supports, and supports for wound and pressure care. And C, approach ag agreed, to, to, sorry, to the approach agreed by the council to fund disability related health supports under the NDIS recognises participants need to be placed at the centre of all decisions. So, Madam Deputy Speaker, we welcome the progress that we are making on the NDIS. We should acknowledge that this is a $22 billion scheme that is unprecedented in our nation's history. I think everyone on both sides of the parliament should be proud of the work that is done been done so far, but in doing so, acknowledging there are still a lot of problems. There are still teething problems. Any scheme of such size, such enormous transition, will have problems. And this government is doing everything we possibly can to work through those problems, to make sure that those Australians that are unfortunate enough to be struck down with some type of physical or intellectual disability are given all the support that they can get. And Madam Deputy Speaker, I was pleased to participate in a roundtable discussion uh, with the Prime Minister uh, and the Minister for the NDIS, uh, Minister Robert, a fortnight ago here in Canberra. And one thing that came up during those discussions is that it's important, I think very important, when the S scheme goes forward, that we look not just at supporting the person or the Australian with a disability, but we look at supporting the whole family unit, whatever shape or form that family may take. Because ultimately, the strongest national disability insurance scheme we can have is to make sure that that person is in with a strong family and given all that family support. I know, and I'm sure from all of our experiences here, when we speak with parents of disabled children, Madam Deputy Speaker, we know the pressures that they are under. We see the separations of, of children, of families with children with disability are far, far higher than the rest of the society. I know myself the number of mothers that I speak with, I see them in the depression medicine because of the strain that they've had of bringing up their disabled child. That's why we have to encur encourage and make sure our national disability insurance scheme is focused on the family unit and supporting the family unit. Because, Madam Deputy Speaker, that is the best way that we can ensure that Australians of disability get the best possible care that they can. We've got to take the pressure off the carers. We've got to take the pressure off other family members. That's what we've got to make sure that we're not just simply focusing on the material supports for the person with a disability, but looking at the family as a whole 
concentrating on that family, making sure that we as a government are giving them all the support we can. But ultimately, we can have all the goodwill that we want here, but we can only deliver this as long as this country continues to have a strong economy. I, I, I and that's why I encourage all I members thank, thank the to member continue to encourage and support. I thank the member for Hughes.